On today's Arn's Alaskan Adventures, I'm going to go over um, how to make everything but the bagel seasoning. I was having breakfast this morning and I'm actually put my breakfast on hold to make this video because I ran out of everything but the bagel seasoning and I really just um, was craving that and it's kind of my go-to to put on eggs or um, I don't know, almost anything else just to add a ton of flavor. So I'm eating it on eggs this morning, but that is kind of irrelevant. So in my ingredients is um, regular sesame seeds, white sesame seeds. Also, black sesame seeds, which I just found that at the Asian section in my regular store here. Um, I use a little bit of um, black pepper. My pepper container's a little funky, so worry about that. Um, granulated garlic. Um, sorry, not granulated garlic. Minced garlic, so it's like the chunky garlic. And then, normally I would put dried onions, but I don't actually have dried onions, so I'm going to use a little bit less of onion powder, just because I know it will disperse better. So I'll use a little, and it measures a little bit differently, so I'll use a little bit less. And then, also Himalayan salt. And I'm going to mix it in here, and then I'll just store the leftovers in here, the stuff that doesn't actually fit into my little container, which I think is right Actually, it's got like a little half a teaspoon in it or so. Uh, okay, so my recipe is two tablespoons of white sesame seeds. I think that's going to about empty this jar. There's one. There's two. I almost forgot one of the key ingredients and I didn't pull it out of my cabinet yet, but it's actually um, poppy seeds. So here's our black sesame seeds. Two tablespoons of that. And then I need four teaspoons of garlic um, twice. So I'm going to use two tablespoons, which would be six. And I need eight total, so I'll do an eyeball, two thirds or so. A little bit extra isn't a big deal on this recipe. And then it says I need a tablespoon of onion, but I'm doing a double recipe, so I'm going to do one, two, and two teaspoons of salt. down to the nitty gritty on my salt here. I need to restock that. And two teaspoons of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. And then I'll pull my poppy seeds out and add those as well. So I grabbed the wrong one. This is a half a tablespoon. So I, gotta... so I actually need um, Four total here because I was doing a double recipe. Okay, four of that one. I will post the recipe in the comments. Two tablespoons of poppy seeds, I'm doing that twice, so I'll actually need four, which I think is going to about empty this jar. I'm going to be a little shy. Oh, that's fine. I don't have any more of those in the back room. I keep a lot of bulk spices, like especially these big ones that don't fit in my cabinets in the back room. Can you pause that video and I'll go check? <laughs> I did not find any extra poppy seeds, but that's okay. Um, I'm okay with less poppy seeds or fewer. It um, adds a lot of color and texture, but I'm not sure that poppy seeds add a ton of flavor, so I'm okay with that. It's really garlic, onion, sesame seeds. So here is my mix. You can see all that sesame seeds, that chunky garlic, and then my salt's in there. It's not a lot of salt, just a little bit, just enough. And I'm gonna fill my container, and then I'll just put my extra in storage. I make a lot of my own seasoning mixes because I don't want all the salt or some of the emulsifiers like soy lecithin or um, some of the anti-caking ingredients. I don't want any of that. We have um, allergies and sensitivities in our family and so I want to reduce the extra garbage that we introduce into our diet and I want to just keep it to seasoning. So honestly I do keep big bulk items of like oregano, cinnamon, um, garlic is always on hand, things like that. And then I make my own seasonings like Spaghetti seasoning, taco seasoning, everything but the bagel seasoning, a few meat rubs. I have a really good Cajun rub. I'll have to do a recipe for that one day. And um, 
And then I keep it in bulk and I keep my recipe on hand. Oftentimes I put my recipe on top of the bulk container for future use so that way it's easy to just make a second batch and I know exactly how to replicate it. Um, and uh, it's just really simple. So anyway, if you like what you're seeing here, go ahead and click that notification bell and follow and like our channel. This is the Ernst Alaska Life saying uh, uh, Merry Christmas. Actually, tomorrow's Christmas. So have a wonderful Christmas and we'll see you again soon. Bye.